What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best launch options for Team Fortress 2 to improve the game's performance on your system. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. In order to change your launch options, make sure to open up your game library. I will showcase this step using the Steam Launcher. Here, right click Team Fortress 2 and navigate to its properties. On this window, in the General tab, select Set Launch Options. In this dialog box, use the following commands. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. High. This command will set the game's priority to high. This will increase your game performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. FPS, max, zero. This command will uncap your frame rate when setting its value to zero. You can lock the game's frame rate to let's say 180 when using the command FPS max 180. No vid. This will skip the game's intro every time you launch it, saving you some valuable seconds. Refresh. Set this to the refresh rate of your monitor to force it to run the game at the same refresh rate. For example, refresh 144. Make sure not to use a value which is above your screen's refresh rate. No joy. This command will disable joystick support and will increase your performance. No Steam Controller. This makes launch times much faster, but will in turn disable Steam Controller support. No Force MXL. This will disable mouse acceleration and will improve your aim. In case you prefer mouse acceleration, then don't use this launch option. No Force MSPD. This should in turn also improve your aim. CL Show FPS 1. This command will show your frame rate while playing the game. Full screen or windowed. This lets you change the game's window mode using launch options. In some cases, using the windowed command can be very useful to troubleshoot some issues you might have with the game. In case you experience unexpected lag after changing your launch options, then I suggest troubleshooting each command to see which ones help you out the most. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.